Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler uh, out here on the Ohio River today and I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how you can take advantage of low water summer pools, so stick around. All right, guys, like I said, we're out on the Ohio River today. Uh, we're up near J.T. Myers Dam, uh, which is just upriver from Shawneetown, Illinois. And uh, uh, right now, we're in the dead of summer, and uh, we've been without rain for quite a while. And we, uh, the river is actually sitting at low water pool. And uh, kind of makes for some bad fishing, but it can you can use this to your advantage. And uh, what I'd like to talk about today is... Uh, when you do get it at low water pool, you can come down through here and find things that would be normally submerged during uh, normal pool levels and get those things marked. So what we've been doing today, we've been going through and finding things, uh, you know, key pieces of uh, cover that we like. And uh, we're setting waypoints on the uh, hummingbird fish finder today. Uh, if you look back over that way, you've got a uh, pretty good sized tree. Now that even at normal pool would be really shallow, but it would be underwater. And uh, we're gonna go down here a little ways. Um, I'll show you some other stuff I found that, that will be underwater once the uh, river goes up to normal pool. And uh, we're gonna get those marked on the uh, hummingbird fish finder. I'll show you guys how easy that is to do that. And uh, then whenever the uh, rains come later on in the fall, the water temperatures get down and the current picks back up, we're going to have uh, some spots that we can come back and hit and uh, hopefully pull some decent uh, catfish off of. So I'll get moved up the river here a little bit and uh, show you guys what I've come up with and show you guys how to mark that on a uh, hummingbird fish finder. So stick around. All right, guys, here's another thing uh, we're looking at here. Uh, you've got a bit of a log jam and uh, it's it's in the water right now. I've, I forget what we're sitting in depth wise. Uh, we were in about 25 feet a moment ago. We're in 15 now, and uh, so that's partially partially submerged. Got a big, very straight vertical bluff there, and uh, we're going to go up and mark one here in a second. And I'm going to show you what we're marking because uh, we're marking it for two reasons. One, I want to come back and fish it. And two, I don't want to be driving through here up on plane screaming along and hit it. And that's this big concrete uh, monstrosity over here poking up out of the water. You can tell it's got stuff around it. And right about the time we pass it, we're going to have Heath hit the uh, mark button. So we'll turn that down. What is that? Right as time whenever you're even with it. Go ahead and poke the button. There we go. So now we have that piece marked. So we won't hit it for one thing. And uh, we'll come back and fish it later. There's also a uh, bit of a jetty. Where there's an Asian carp up there surfacing. There's no shortage of Asian carp in the Ohio River. And uh, you get up by the dam, we were up there the other night and there were some guys fishing for them. But uh, I'll get back to the back, I'll show you guys how to mark that. Alright guys, this is one of the other things we found, uh, this old rock jetty sticking out a little ways. And uh, that's another thing that you wouldn't want to hit with your uh, boat or catch your lower unit on it when you're going down the river. But. Uh, that would definitely be good for uh, making a current break. Uh, higher water levels, higher current levels would be good to uh, get up there and uh, fish next to that. So we're passing that right now. I've got my hummingbird screen here. See if you guys can see this. You can just now see that jetty starting to uh, come onto the screen. I'm running the side imaging. Now, if you're running a, a hummingbird unit, I'm sure the Lorances and the Garmin's are about the same, but uh, I'm not familiar with those. On the hummingbirds, we can take and hit our cursor, bring our cursor over to mark that, and we'll just hit that mark button. And now we have that mark, that waypoint is marked perfectly with that. 
All right, guys, that's what we've been doing out here today. We've been uh, taking advantage of the low water pool and uh, using that for two, uh, two things that is gonna be beneficial to us. Like I said, we're going to mark spots that, that we wanna go back and fish later when they, when they are underwater. And we're also marking spots that could be a uh, underwater hazard whenever this river comes up to pool. So, uh, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. I was really hoping to show you a fish today, but uh, so far the fish haven't been cooperating. But I wanted to show you what we were doing, and, uh, you know, this time of year when the current gets down, the river level gets down, uh, you can still get out here and do something that is going to help your fishing later on down the road. So, guys... Appreciate you watching my videos. Take a moment, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and if you're on a mobile device, hit the little bell. It's located on the lower right-hand corner of your screen, and that'll let you know anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, we're gonna get back at it, so uh, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching Weekend Night.